Are you frightened by this question? Calculate the fifth power of this huge number. I have to tell you that the answer is an integer. So we have to find out which integer's fifth power this number under the root is. So what shall we do firstly? Usually, we have to find out how many digits our answer has. So we just have a look at 10 to the power of 5 and 100 to the power of 5. How many digits does 10 to the power of 5 have? 6. What about 100 to the power of 5? 11. Okay, then what shall we do? Then let's have a look how many digits our this huge number has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It has 10 numbers, and 10 is between 6 and 11. So that implies that our this number under the root is between 10 to the power of 5 and 100 to the power of 5. What about the result? The result must be between 10 and 100. So, how many digits does it have? It is a two-digit number. Since 10 is less than this number, it's less than 100. Now we have to figure out which numbers these two digits are. There is a splendid property we can use. Pay attention. The unit digit of the fifth power of any number is equal to the unit digit of this number. You can construct the table and consider the cases from 0 to 9. So you will find out that the unit digit of 1 to the power of 5 is 1. Of 2 to the power of 5 is 2. Of 3 to the power of 5 is 3. Of 4 to the power of 5 is 4 of 5 to the power of 5 is 5. The unit digit of 6 to the power of 5 is 6. Of 7 to the power of 5 is 7. Of 8 to the power of 5 is 8. Of 9 to the power of 5 is 9. And the unit digit of 0 to the power of 5 is 0. So you get all of them after checking their unit digits. So, the unit digit of our this number is 9. So have a look here. If the unit digit of a fifth power of a number is 9, then the unit digit of this number should be 9. So it means that the unit digit of the result is just 9. It has the same unit digit as our this number under the root. Now, our second work is to figure out our tenth digit. Pay attention. How many digits does our this number have? 10. What about 100 to the power of 5? 11. And 10 to the power of 5? 6. So you can easily find out that 10 is much closer to 11 than to 6. So we can predict that the result is very close to 100. And have you ever noticed that the first digit of this number is 9? So I can say this number is very, very close to 10 zeros after 1. It is very close to this number. And this number is actually 100 to the power of 5. So I guess that the answer will be 89 or 99. I don't know. So let's have a look at 90 to the power of 5. 90 to the power of 5 is what? It is 9 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 5. And 9 to the power of 5 can be written as 9 times 9 to the power of 4, then times 10 to the power of 6, then times 10 to the power of 5. 
I write this nine as ten. So this is clearly smaller than nine times ten to the power of four, then times ten to the power of five. And this one is what is nine times ten to the power of nine. Nine times ten to the power of nine is just nine as the first digit. Then other digits are all zero. So it's just nine zeros after the digit nine. So this one also has ten digits, but this guy has ten digits as well. However, this one. Is clearly less than our this poor guy, nine five zero nine nine zero zero four nine nine. This huge thing is greater than ninety to the power of five. So the fifth power of it is greater than ninety. So that implies our result is greater than ninety, and its unit digit should be nine. So what's the answer? Its tenth digit should also be nine, and ninety-nine is just the answer. Did you get it? Press ninety-nine to the power of five on your calculator, and it's gonna tell you that the result is our this number under the root. Did you get it? Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.